Welcome back to the Team Aquascape channel. We are continuing to roll here in our retail store. Today's episode, we are going to finish up some of those areas that we talked about in previous episodes. We are going to replace the basalt columns with a small stack slate sphere. We're gonna show you exactly how we light that thing in the very, very top of it, as well as do the plumbing. We're gonna do just a submersible ultra 2000 pump with that, and it will sit right underneath in that upper pool of this gorgeous turtle pond here. You've got Roy and Steve over there getting ready to do the installation. So they're gonna walk you through everything that needs to happen in order to put that thing together. The other thing that we're gonna do in this episode is we are going to continue finishing this area off. We're gonna replace all of this old cedar decking that you can see is very, very stained. We've got some composite decking that's gray. So we've got this area here that we will finish, but first we are going to be putting a stack slate sphere into this upper pooling area to add some additional interest and just a little bit more wow over here. So we've got Steve and Roy, and they are gonna walk you through this process. Enjoy this part of the episode we'll check back in and see how they're doing we are going to build a pondless waterfall the easiest way to learn something is to teach it we are rocking and rolling on this pond we appreciate you guys tuning in hey guys steve here and we are going to drill a hole into the top of the sphere uh, we're going to use a three inch for the hole, hole saw. saw and we're going to drill it into the top uh, ledge on this side actually. So Steve, what we're going to do here is we're going to put in a three inch light instead of a regular fountain light. And the advantage of this three inch light is it's going to give us so much more light that allow it to flicker off the water coming up and casting these gorgeous uh, silhouettes on the trees behind. So let's drill our three inch hole right now and then we'll start the installation process. So we drilled our three inch hole here into the sphere and what's gonna happen is this three watt LED aquascape light is going to go in here like so and then we will put a bead of silicone around it and it will fit nicely as you can see like that and give us plenty of light coming out when the water's coming out here. This thing's gonna glow literally like a witch's cauldron. So we're gonna take our silicone here and we're gonna put it around the rim of this light here like so so we get a nice seal and that way we don't lose any water pressure and it'll keep the light nice and tight in here so now you can see pop this sucker in here there we go and now we have this nice silicone seal around this light and it'll prevent it from popping out and any water from leaking behind here. So we're gonna go on to our next step and begin to put the center pipe in for the sphere. To do so, you're gonna have to make sure that the opening is at least one inch. Use a one inch hole saw here, which this was actually already pre-drilled. So you can see it just goes right in there perfectly. So this pipe now is going to go in perfectly as well. And then we're gonna put a bead of silicone around that once it's mounted. So we're gonna take measurements so that the actual pipe is just about a quarter inch above the opening here and then we're gonna attach it with a 90 degree elbow to the flex PVC one inch pipe. Okay, so we got our measurements for our pipe here. So we're gonna cut our one inch stiff PVC pipe here and then we're gonna dry connect it to an elbow to make sure we got the proper measurement. Okay, so we got our, our one inch pipe cut. Gonna put it on the one inch elbow here. Make sure that this is the proper length. Put it through here, there we go. And there's an opening right here. So we're just gonna make sure that this aligns right when we put it together. And you can see perfect length right there. Okay, so the next step is we're going to glue our PVC pipe. We have our Christie's glue right here. We're gonna glue both the pipe and we're also gonna glue the inside of the fitting. So we're gonna apply glue to both sections, put that in, get a nice seal. You can see the glue around the top there. Wait for this to dry a couple minutes and then we will attach our one inch flex PVC. We will now glue this section of flex PVC to our elbow and do that. All right, and then we're also gonna glue the inside of the elbow here. There we go. So we're gonna let that dry right there and then go on to our next step, which will be 
setting the sphere in our location over here. So we have our sphere here on the top section of the pond here, and we have it positioned where we want it. Three wild light that we have in here will be facing the trees over here, so it will be getting the maximum effect. Scintillation from the light hitting the water and creating those really cool ripple effect on the trees here. So at this point, we're going to take our pipe and insert it into the sphere and secure the center pipe. pipe is just about a quarter inch above the actual opening there and we're going to silicone this in so we're going to put a bead of silicone around the pipe here and this way it will prevent the water from going down and give us a nice uh, flow of water coming out so take our tube of silicone here and we'll put a nice thick bead around the pipe and it takes about three to four hours for silicone to dry in ideal conditions which is between 50 degrees or warmer and once you put your bead in take your finger if you want to wear gloves that's fine and just kind of push it in there so it's a nice smooth seal around the pipe so we have a nice seal around here now and this way we'll let that dry and in a few hours after it's dry we'll turn it on and you'll see the water flow uh, but before we do that we're gonna take a remaining pipe here we're gonna put a valve on this and then we will connect this flex PVC to the pump and hide the pump under some rocks here. so let's get ready to do that Okay, so we uh, cut our flex PVC pipe here and we cut it just before we're gonna attach it to the pump with a separate piece. We're gonna use this one inch valve here. We're gonna go ahead and glue this valve on to the flex PVC pipe and then we're gonna cut another piece of flex PVC that will connect the valve to the pump. Okay, so we connected our ball valve right here. So this right now is connected between the sphere and the pump. You can see that the pump is right here under this rack and we have it mounted sideways. It's an Ultra 2000, it's connected directly here. We're gonna allow the silicone to cure a little bit on top before we actually turn it on and adjust the flow. But the nice thing about this ball valve is it will uh, allow us to adjust the flow that we need so that we don't have too much splash from the urn. So the pump sits over here and we just cover it with our rack so you can see easy access and nicely covers it, hides it away. We have another flat rock here that we will put on top of the pipe and cover the valve once we do the adjustments. In the meantime, we have a three watt light here that we position shooting right here at the sphere. We're gonna add two one watt spotlights, one over in this corner and one over on the other corner here, highlighting the sphere. And then at the same time, we're also gonna light up our three watt that we have inside the top of the sphere here too and connect all that. So let's go ahead and put the other two lights in and then connect everything together. New lights here, we connect it to our splitter. Roy is handling the uh, splicing here. So we installed a one watt spotlight there, you can see, and then one in this little cove here. And we already had the three watt here. So we will connect our new lights to the existing hot wire right here, and they should go on right away. Okay, so moment of truth is here. We have all our equipment set up, our plumbing's done, our lighting's installed. We're going to plug in the pump now. I have to check the actual ball valve turned off so we can slowly open this and adjust the flow rate and see how it looks. So let's get ready to pump, uh, to plug the pump in. Okay, here it goes. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, look at that guys. What a gals. beauty. Beautiful flow here from the Ultra 2000. You can already see the light rippling off the pine trees there. Really beautiful effect. And yeah, this is really awesome. What's it look like when you move this rock down, get that extra light in there? Yeah, so let's move this rock down here. go there it is and this is just gonna look spectacular at night oh yeah good job Roy there you go thanks Steve <laughs> So 
as Chris was saying, Luis and I are done with the patio. We're now gonna jump over here to the deck. So the plan is to come over here. We're gonna take all this old wood decking out that's discolored. We're gonna replace that with some brand new Trex decking. Uh, I believe a gray composite color. So the plan is we're gonna jump in on this. We're gonna zip all these off, lay those down on our new wood, trim it all out, cut it out to fit, and we are gonna start putting in the new deck with the hidden screw fastener components so that it'll be a nice, clean, traditional look. You ready to do it? Yep. Do it. So Papa and I got all the screws pulled out. Had a few that we had to use a little bit of old school method to get out, no big deal. We went ahead and numbered every one of these boards. I'll take you back in the back where we got the new ones laid out, where we can lay these right down on top of it, mark them out. Easy jigsaw puzzle or Tetris for you Tetris fans out there. But we're able to mark those right out, cut them with the jigsaw and be able to bring all the new ones in and bam, 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 bam. Put them all in and we'll have a brand new deck. So we got the old deck out. We got it laid out on our new decking. We got everything traced out. Luis and I are getting ready to set up the jigsaw. We're gonna saw everything out, put everything in. We've got the hidden fasteners. So those ought to work out pretty nice. Everything have a nice clean look to it. See, we got everything cut. We're gonna start laying everything out, reverse order. We're going to use fasting system and get rolling. Today was a success. Ran into a few hiccups over here. The old decking butted up end to end where the new Trex has the spacers that lock everything down on that rabbit groove inside the Trex. So when we put those in, it actually ended up offsetting all these out about a board and a half. So from about here back, we actually had to come back and retrim the ends right in here to make everything fit, but everything turned out great. Looks phenomenal. Really, really happy with it. Even with running into a few things we had to troubleshoot, but sometimes that's the name of the game. Luis and I and Steve were able to pull it off. Really happy with it. Hope you guys enjoyed. 